All right, this is the change of base stuff, which we've kind of talked a little bit about already. Um, again, the proof of this thing is going to be on Canvas. It's on the YouTube channel already, but um, I don't really know why you guys would watch that. It's, it's pretty boring. On this one, uh, notice that this is log base C of A and log base C of B in that fraction. Uh, it's just common to change these these two logs right here to be natural logs or common logs so that you can plug it into a calculator that's that's really the main reason why we use a change of base because then we can plug it into a calculator which makes it extremely easy to solve is uh, when we change this to a common or natural log we're saying that the base is either e or 10 uh, so we get to choose what that C was because it didn't exist in there before. Which, again, is kind of on that video of how this is derived. Alright, here we go. Log base 3 of 2, so we're going to use the change of base stuff. So, we take... Oh, you guys have to tell me as well, do you want to use common logs or natural logs? Common logs. Alright, the first... So that means we can take the log of the 2. Now remember, it would be log base 10. It's just since it's common, we don't show the 10 there. And this would be divided by the log of the base, which is 3. And once again, this is something that we could plug into our calculator now, which is, which is how it's allowing us to approximate this stuff 